you were the person that made it a point to make sure we were aware of African-American history. Carrie Stivers has made the walk from my old Kentucky Homes yeah. Visitor Center to the main house more times than she can count. Unbeknownst to her, this walk is different. Oh my goodness. You have the actual names. For decades, she made it her mission to make sure young African-Americans knew their history in Bardstown. And part of that was making sure they knew about the slaves who spent their lives here at my old Kentucky home. She did that even though the park did not, until now. Now they have names and their families, some, you know. A few years ago, the park started working with the African American Heritage Commission and two local historians to get a full understanding of the dozens of slaves who lived on the mild Kentucky home estate. Names, birth years, jobs, talents. That research led to these four panels packed with information. And not only are they permanent, they're prominent. They're the first thing visitors will see as they make their way to the iconic home. Thank you so much. Oh. <laughs> Happy and Thank proud you. to do it. Go ahead. Matthew Bailey has been the director at my old Kentucky home for three years. In that time, park visitorship has more than doubled, and these panels became a priority. We realized there was a need to improve upon the story of my old Kentucky home, and we thought one of the places that we could focus on were the enslaved servants that lived here at one time. In February of 2011, WLKY featured my old Kentucky home in a series of reports pointing out the lack of information about the slaves who lived and worked on the grounds. The park's director then told us more would be done. Bailey says it's a promise kept. We invite uh, Kentuckians at home and abroad to come see the new panels and to experience the new tour that also highlights the um, uh, contributions of the enslaved to Federal Hill. For Carrie, it's more than a promise kept. It's validation and appreciation for an ancestry often purposefully forgotten. This is nice. This is, this is what we need. We need more of this. And, uh, uh, it, it, it just overwhelms me, you know, because uh, it, it just, it's just perfect. Thank you. Thank you. The park has also rewritten the narrative it tells people in the tour, making it fully inclusive of the information known about the slaves on the estate. The park director says there's now a continuing effort to learn more about them. You can find more information about the Mile Kentucky Home Estate Park at our website, WLKY.com.